Yo me voy mañana al Congreso. No me tengo con quién ir. Todo el mundo trabaja. Que ya no puedo seguir. Perdón. Hello, who's singing? Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank fine. you. Okay, very good. Well, um, let's get started today. Welcome one more time to our English class at Inglés Corporativo Level 3, Principiante 3. Very good. I have a quote for you. I have a phrase for you. Let me read it. Can you see it? La medicina de la niña. De... Okay, let me read this for you. ¿Cuánto? The difference. Ya son cinco ml y también este. Cinco ml. Sí. The difference between ordinary an extraordinary is just that little extra. I read it again. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Okay, one more time. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Okay. Can you repeat after me, please? Yes, yes. The difference between ordinary. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary. And extraordinary. It's just that little extra. It's just that little extra. Okay. One more time. Repeat, please. The difference, the difference between, between ordinary, ordinary and extraordinary, and extraordinary is just that little extra. I just little, 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 little extra. Uh -huh. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? ¿Qué dice aquí? La diferencia entre el ordinario y lo extraordinario, el extraordinario es está, extra. está en los pequeños detalles, en los pequeños extra. Solo... Ok. La diferencia entre ordinario y extraordinario es solamente ese pequeño detalle extra extra uh -huh. extra ok do you want to be ordinary or extraordinary uh -huh. extraordinary 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 yes an extraordinary uh, father, an extraordinary mother, an extraordinary worker, 
an extraordinary student. What is the difference between an ordinary student and an extraordinary student? Uh-huh. Is that little extra? Extra effort. Extra time. Extra uh, work. Work. You see? Okay. Do you know what yes. I mean? Yes. If you give a little extra, you are going to be extraordinary. Okay? And this time from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. is that little extra. Okay? You are giving a little extra. Other people, right now, they are watching TV, they are out with friends, they are sleeping, yes? Yes. yes. Maybe yes. Your, your friends, your co-workers, they are sleeping or watching TV. But you, you are giving that little extra. You are studying English. That is an extra. And the world, the companies, they need extraordinary people. Okay? Yes. So you are becoming extraordinary. <clears throat> Congratulations to you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Very good. Repeat, please. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is extraordinary. Okay. Levanta tu mano. I am an extraordinary person. I am, I am an extraordinary person. Yes, you are. Okay, very good. Now, because you are extraordinary, I am sure you are, you are working in the platform. Yes. yes. Okay, because you are extraordinary. I know you are working in the platform. Okay. Um, last class, we finish with this vocabulary about places and things. Okay, places and things. <coughs> Let's practice one more time this vocabulary, okay? Yes. Repeat, please. Places. A bank. Place. A, a bank. A bank. A bank. A, bank. a, bank. a, bank. a drug store. A drug store. A drug store. A drug store. Okay. A post office. A post office. A post office. A post office. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A department store. A department store. 
A department store. A department store. A supermarket. A supermarket. A supermarket. A supermarket. Okay. <clears throat> Can you give me an example of a drugstore? A drugstore. Hey. Um, give me the name of a drugstore. Um, San Nicolas. A ah, drugstore. San, San Nicolas, Nicolas is a drugstore. A drugstore. Okay. A gas station. Give me an example of a gas station. Puma is gas station. Puma is a gas station. Texaco is a gas station. Give me an example of a supermarket. Walmart. Okay. Give me a sentence, please. Give me a sentence. Walmart is a supermarket. Walmart is a supermarket. Walmart is a supermarket. Super Selectos is a supermarket. Yes. Uh -huh. Give me an example of a bookstore. Librería Moderna is a Librería. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> now a restaurant. Uh, uh, La Pampa is a restaurant. Yes, La Pampa is a restaurant. A bank. Uh, okay. Banco de América Central is a bank. Okay. Banco Agricola is a bank. A department store. Siman uh, is a department store. Siman yes, is a department store. Okay, excellent. Now let me show you uh, another vocabulary about places in the community. For example, look at this. Okay, look at this different places in a community or in a city um telephone booth telephone booth ya aquí ya ni tenemos verdad pero es una cabina telefónica castro pero no se ve ha quedado la pantalla del mensaje oh i'm sorry Por eso sé de dónde está leyendo el teacher, solo el otro. Oh, bueno, me dicen. Yo bien afanado aquí. I'm sorry. Ok. Telephone booth. Telephone booth. Telephone booth. Una caseta telefónica. Ya no hay de esa aquí. Castro. 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 Un castillo. Ah, fire station. Fire station. Fire, fire station. What is a fire station? Estación de bomberos. Bueno, bank. Está repetido. Street. 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 Una calle. No. Panamericana Street, por ejemplo. Panamericana Street. O Arce Street. ¿Verdad? Arce Street. Yes. yes. House. 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 ¿Verdad? Post Office. Post Office. Post office. Post office. Railway Station. Railway Station. Pronto va a ver aquí en El Salvador. A ver si es cierto. Railway Station. ¿Qué es eso? Estación de tren. Estación de tren. Okay. Hospital. Estación de tren. Uh -huh. Hospital. 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 Garage. 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 
uh, a veces son los talleres también se les llaman garage. Garage. Uh, school. 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 Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Park. 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 Now we have the Cuscatlan Park. Police station. Police station. Police station. Police station. Church. 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 Library. 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 Okay. What, what is the difference between a library and a bookstore? The library is biblioteca. Ah. The bookstore is librería. Okay. Okay, library, you only go to study. Okay? You go to the library to study. Solo va a estudiar, es una biblioteca. Bookstore, you go to buy books. Va a comprar. You go to buy books. Okay. Uh, clothes. 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 Yeah. Clothes shop. Clothes shop. Clothes shop. Clothes shop. Clothes shop. Tienda de ropa. Tienda de ropa. Clothes shop. No. So. Puede también decir clothes store. Es otra manera. Clothes Restaurant. Que ya lo vimos. Restaurant. Restaurant. Museum. 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 Okay. And zoo. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. More vocabulary about places in the, in the community, okay? Okay. Any question with this vocabulary? No. No. Perfect. Okay. Now, um, let me show you this video in the platform about uh, compound nouns, compound nouns, nombres compuestos, okay, because these places in the community, algunos son compound nouns, okay, watch this video please, about compound Mario. nouns. Mario, ¿te dormiste? As you learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns, let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas 
the word by itself is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website vocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. When we talk about compound nouns, uh, we talk about uh, these nouns formed by two different nouns, two words. That is a compound noun. Okay. And we have these compound nouns. So when we talk about the stress, of a compound noun, stress es la fuerza de voz, o el, la fuerza de voz, el, el stress, verdad, es la fuerza de voz, y decía en, en el video que en los nombres compuestos o compound nouns, el stress va en la primera palabra, ok? Post office, gas station, rest room, coffee shop, department store, book store, super market, drug store. Um, permita, estoy aquí, verdad? Volvemos. Acá. Okay. Estamos viendo acá. Yes. Sí. Perdón. Me eh, repito de nuevo, ¿verdad? El stress va en la primera palabra. Ok. Post office, drug store, drug station, supermarket. Estrés es la fuerza de voz. Restroom, bookstore, coffee shop, department store. Ok. Any question with the compound nouns? No. Bien. Okay, now we are going to study this conversation. Let me go back to the video. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're going to watch this video about prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Let me share the video and the audio. <clears throat> of place in order to give directions. 
Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no. I My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Okay. Let's practice the final conversation title, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. One more time. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about... Okay. No. Let's, uh, okay, let's practice this conversation, okay? So listen and repeat, please. Let me look for my, okay, repeat after me. Excuse me, can you help me? Excuse me, can you, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. You can't it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh my goodness. You can't tiene loras. Ajá. Confiesen, confiesen, ¿quién tiene loras? Oh, Póngale un trapo a la, a la jaula porque es duerma. Ok. Pero, ¿cómo hacer un zoológico? <laughs> One more time, but now I am the man and you are the woman. Okay. Oh. Yes. Otro lugar donde no estén las loras, hombre. <laughs> okay. I am the man and you are the woman. Okay. Okay. 
excuse me, can you help me? Is there a excuse public me. restroom around here? Can you can you can you can you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's in the main store.